combat class on Leisure Active On Demand. My name is Kirsty. This is our 30 minute combat class, so thank you so much for joining. We have got upper body, lower body, cardio, conditioning, core. We're going to tick all the boxes in this workout. We're going to start with our full body warm up and then we're going into our rounds. We've got four rounds in this class and I'll tell you about them when we get ready to start those. And then we have got our cool down at the end. So nice and simple, nice and easy to follow and it's going to go by so quickly. Time's going to absolutely fly by. So I'll give you a little chat and then we'll get started and get into the workout. So you don't need any equipment for the workout, no weights, no bands, something like that. If you do have an exercise mat that you want to bring in, we've got one core round sort of in the middle of the workout and then we might use it for our stretching as well at the end. So you can bring your mat over, you can even leave it at the side and bring it over when you need to if you haven't got much space or if you want to use it, some people like to kind of stand onto it for a little bit extra uh, cushioning. So totally up to you, other than that, no equipment. Just make sure you've got a little bit of space to work, you have got punches and some kicks and the cardio to make sure that you've got a little bit of room to be working in, that you can see me and hear me okay. Something has popped up on the screen, bear with me a second. Oh, there we go, right, okay. Just checking that you can still see me and hear me okay. All right, so as I was saying, no equipment, just make sure you've got plenty of space and if you want to have a drink of water handy as well, mine is over there, I will give you a little rest in between rounds just so you can have a little drink and kind of calm it down cool down before we move into the next round. So that is all my chat. We are going to start with our warm up. I hope you're all feeling well. I hope everyone's feeling good. No injuries or anything. If you do have any issues, any injuries, any niggles, anything like that, just take it nice and easy. I will give you options. I'll give you low impact options, high impact um, and different things you can try. So just take it nice and easy if you're not sure about anything you're doing at the beginning or you have any issues. If you're feeling ready for a good workout, I will give you those high intensity options and you can go for that as well. So perfect. We're going to start with our warm up. So we're going to bring our feet in inside our hips so we're just standing up nice and tall and we're just going to go for some chest openers so we just stretch out bringing the opposite hand on top so we're bringing that chest through squeezing those shoulder blades together releasing those arms and then we're going to bring them up for some big shoulder circles and step back so you can see i know i've got really weird long sort of arms to go off camera so step right back just so you can see and then we take it back excellent you get the idea my hands get caught up a little bit you'll get the idea you know where they're going so we're dropping that shoulder taking it nice and big excellent we are going to pick up one knee take it round so we keep our abs in and we're just opening up the hips Excellent. Can we speed it up just a little bit? So taking out that step. So open and open. If you can't, don't worry. If you need that little step in between to get your balance. So draw in a big circle through that knee into the hip. Excellent. Very nice. Shake it out there. We are going to go for some roundhouse setups. So we're just doing a setup part of our roundhouse kick. So we bring the heel to the bum step down so we keep the abs tight and we just give the hamstring and the glute a little stretch here we go so we're keeping it nice and tight I've got my back fist coming out for a little bit of balance and we're just stepping it up so getting nice and warm into those legs good other side bring it up Good, up and down. Excellent, give me a little jog on the spot. If that's too much, you've got your low impact option to march out. So we're just getting the heart rate up, getting everything nice and loose. Woo. Excellent, shake it all out, give it a little shake out. Very nice, so nice, quick effective warm up. We've mobilized, we've worked through the joints, the muscles. We brought the heart rate up. We should be feeling a little bit warm. You can grab a little drink if you need it while we chat about round one. So our first round coming up. So we're doing a Tabata cell combat this morning. Or this afternoon, whenever it is you're watching it. Um, we are going to do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And we have got eight little mini sets in each round. It sounds like quite a lot, but each round is only four minutes and it goes really quickly. So we do 20 seconds of one move, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of another move. So it's upper body and lower body or upper body and cardio. So we're going to get started. We're going to do it all together. I'm going to do it with you. So the time's confusing. Don't worry.
sorry, you must then pick it up. As soon as you get into it, you'll go, yep, okay, I know what we're doing, and you'll be absolutely fine. So I'm going to show you the first two moves in our first set, and then we can get into it together. I've got a timer to set, and then we're doing it. So our first move, four, jab and cross, two, uppercut. One, two, three, four, uppercut. So we just move through as many as we can of that combo at that tempo in our 20 seconds. And then for our lower body, we have got 10 seconds on one knee, and then we switch. So hands come up, bring that knee in, give it a little crunch, and we take it down. So we have got jab and cross, uppers, knee drives. Nice and simple. All right, I've set my timer. I'm gonna give you a 10 second countdown. So it gets us ready. So we're coming into our set stance. So we've got knees nice and soft, pelvis tucked under, shoulders down, get ready. Here we go, we go. One, two, three, four, upper, cut. One, two, three, four, up, under. Very nice. One, two, three, four. Give me one more set. In four, three, two, one. Very nice. 10 seconds. Pick a leg to start with. What leg are you going to start with? 10 seconds on one side and on the other. Here we go. So this is your low impact. If you want more, add a hop. Get ready to switch. Other side. So again, low impact or making it bigger. Good. For two. For one. Nothing. Rest. Perfect. One set of each down. We go back to the start. Upper body. In two. In one. One, two, three, four. Two slow uppercuts. So shoulders down. Core tight. All that power. Into those fists. Give me one more set. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, very good. Ready for those knee drives. So back to the first knee for 10 seconds. Here we go. In, drive. Good, remember, if you want more, you can add the hop or stay here for two and switch. Good, keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Halfway through round one. So you're doing really well. We take it back to the start in four, three, two, and one. Upper cut. Jab cross, upper cut, all the way through. Tuck that chin down, eyes forward. Good. One more, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Back to those knee drives, so remember. First leg, 10 seconds. Second leg, get ready. Here we go on the first side. Up, up. Excellent. So abs are tight, crunching. Up, in two, in one, immediately. Into the other side. In, two, and one. Take a rest, 10 seconds, get the breath back. Final set, so last round. Shoulders back, get ready. Upper combo. One, two, three, four. Huh. Huh. Upper, cut. Good, so knees are soft. You can start lifting into that heel. One, two, three, four. Give me one more set. This is it. And rest. Good. Final time on our knee drives. So we're going to make it big. We're going to make it count. You get rest after this. Get ready. Let's go. Excellent. Three. Two. One. We switch. Last ten seconds. Good. Heart rate should be up. In. Three. Two. One, take a rest, very nice, one round down. Grab yourself a little drink, get the breath back, walk it out, shake it out, 
stretch it out, do what you need to do. Do not sit down. Don't put the TV on, check your phone. Stay alert, stay active, imagine in that class full of people and you're staying on your feet. Okay, okay. How are we getting on? How was that? Round one. Feeling it. Excellent. Round two. So we've got about 30 seconds left in this rest. So we're going to show you the moves in round two and then we're going to go for it. So we're starting off with a new combo. We're going to do four uppercuts, two hooks. Four upper, two hooks. One, two, three, four, one, and two. Nice and simple. Excellent. Jumping jacks. So our cardio is our jumping jacks. So combo and jacks. Option for jacks, taking it low. Okay, in four, three, two, and one. Four, upper, two, hooks. So we lift that heel into those hooks if we can. Just gets you a little more power. One more. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, ready for those jumping jacks. So half jacks or full jumping jacks. Take a breath. Four, three, two, let's go. So every time you bring those hands up overhead and you jump it out, you're getting fitter. The heart is working harder. Anytime you bring those limbs up over your heart space, over your head. Three, two, one. Excellent, one set down, that was your practice. Three more sets to go. Getting ready. Uppers and hooks. In four, three, two, and one. Good, keep those shoulders down. You know what you're doing now, abs tight. Shoulders down, hold. Get back on that beat, there we go. One, two, three, four. Give me one more. Two, and one. Take a breath, very good. Back to those jumping jacks, nice and simple. Once you get into it and you get the idea of what's going on, you're golden. In two, in one. So it's really, uh, really easy to follow once you get started. Move A, move B, little rest in between. Nice and simple. Good, remember the option. Take it here. Four, four, three, two, one. Halfway through round two already. Didn't I tell you the time goes quickly? Really good, resetting. Back to the upper body. One, two, three, four. Hook and hook. Good, so hook nice and high. So lead with the elbow, taking it up. Good. Give me one more set. Four, three, two, one. Very nice. Jumping jack time to so take a breath. Let it go. Get ready. Here we go. So the 10 seconds go really quickly. Then we get a nice long rest at the end of this round. So that minute. Sit right. Sit relax. Just a little bit. Bringing the heart rate down before we come back in again. In two. And one. Good. This is it. Final minute of work. One more upper, one more set of jacks if you get that rest. Bring the shoulders down. In four, three, two, and one. Four, upper, two, hooks. Excellent. Remember, chin tucked, back nice and strong, back nice and flat. And rest. Here we go, 20 seconds, jumping jacks, all the way to the end. Half jacks, jumping jacks, get ready, let's go. Final push, and that's two rounds of our four rounds down. Good, so we're here, or here, so wherever you are. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Take the rest. Take a minute. Get some water, get some fluids, have a little drink. Breathe nice and deep. So what we're trying to do is, is rest. We're trying to 
trying to get the breathing down a little bit slower, I'm trying to bring the heart rate down a little bit. So the, the, the point of this Advata head start training is to push the heart rate up to the work period and let it come back down a little bit. So we'll go up and down like a little roller coaster. So to get you fitter, make your heart and lungs work at capacity. And if you were at the top the whole time, whenever you any breaks, you would burn out, you would finish. You'd be knackered. So you want to kind of bring it down, you've got the energy to push back up again. Okay, okay, let's bring it down onto our mat. We have got our core round, a nice core round in the middle. So we're going to bring it down. I think I'll look really odd. All right, line it down. We're back to our combo. Two to each side. And two to the center. In two. And one. Side. Side. Center. So left in the shoulder blades up. You are bracing that core. Squeeze it into the upper abs. So every side. Chin. Down. In four. Three. Two. One. Roll that up, right, we're gonna come side on, see if it makes a difference. So we're sitting back on the sit bones, sitting back, we lift the feet, four, three, two, and one. Good, so we hold. The further back you can sit, the deeper you're gonna get. To make it easier, bring up a little bit, remember the option. You can hold behind those knees, but only if you have to. In two. In one, bring it up. Good, halfway. We're lying back down again. So get ready to crunch and punch. Four, three, two, and one. We lift. Side, side, center, center. So every time you punch, it's on the beat. In four, three, two. Good, good. Give yourself a little roll up. Set yourself up. Can we get a little deeper this time? So brace, get ready. In two, in one, we hold. So you should feel those lower abs really squeezing together, having to hold. So not every ab exercise is a crunch or a plank. Sometimes it's just holding, using your body weight for two. For one, this is it. Final round. We're bringing it back down. Let's make it count. Let's really work that core. Deep breath. Four, three, and one. Side, side. For two. So can we stretch up? Nice and deep. Really feel that core start to work. Be part of it. Four, three, two. Time on our V-set hold. I'm gonna give you my big feet angle again so you can see it from a different angle. Alright, so sit back and brace, get ready and hold. So make sure the shoulders are down, we're not hunching up. Bring it down. Ten seconds left. Can we all hold? Can we finish? Nice and strong. Three, two, one! Woo! Rest. Very nice. You might want to have a little stretch out here and bring the hands overhead, release those abs. You might want to give the knees a little hug. You might just want to pop up to your feet and shake it out. So whatever you want to do, it's your time to have that little rest. And we have got one more round to go. So one more big round of work. 
How are we doing? How are we feeling? Are we energised? Are we ready for this? Are we looking forward to finishing off and getting on with the rest of our day? Okie dokie, last round. Upper body, lower body. And then we are done, we just cool down. So we are going to start high elbows. So drive through the elbow, lifting into those heels, four tight, slam up through the elbow. Nice and simple. We have then got a high kick. Kick, step, kick. That's it. Get ready. High elbows. In two, in one. So we're keeping the shoulder down, driving up through that shoulder. So the hand skims. Nice. In two, in one. So what you're aiming for is that elbow to come up into your opponent's nose and up and under. If you're thinking about using the elbow as a weapon and driving. All right, alternating front kicks. In two, in one. Kick, step, kick, step. So we lean back, we bring the toe up. Kick, kick, good. You can make it low if you're just beginning. Any issues with back? So you can take it here or high for two, for one. Excellent. Back to the elbow drive. So roll the shoulders and brace the core. Let's get ready. Up, up. Drive. So you want to push power from the soles of the feet up into that core and up out the elbow. Four, three. Two, one, very nice. Alternating front kick. This is why I said you need some face. We don't want to be kicking anything over. Get ready, four, three, two. Kicking it as high as you can. So soft knee in the standing leg. So we don't want to lock anything out. Slightly leaning back, sitting back into those hips. Good, four, three, Two, one, halfway. Good, 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 we're doing well. Come on, two more sets of each. Back into your set stance. Four, three, elbow drives. Core type. Excellent. Four, three, Two, one. Your shoulders should be feeling it now. So release those shoulders. Good, get ready, high kicks. So hips, legs, in the glutes as well. We go in two, in one. Kick, step, kick, step. Here's my big old feet again. Coming towards the camera. Kick, step, good. Get into that little rhythm. Step, step, kick, step, step, good. Give me one more. Step it in. Beautiful. One more round. This is it. Last bit of hard work. Are we going to give everything we've got? Woo hoo! Get ready. Let's go. So, again, good raising. So, we're not hitting ourselves in the head. We're just bringing that hand up past the ear. Excellent. A little bit of rotation through those obliques. Come on. In four, three, two, one. We're going to finish with our high kicks. What a way to finish. Deep breath, get ready. In two, in one. Kick, step, kick, step, up. Good, remember the option to take it a little bit lower, but it's the exact same technique. And then when you're feeling more confident, bring it up for two. Last one. Woo! Sensational. Grab yourself a little drink. Have a quick breather and then get ready for our cool down. This is the nice bit. This is where we take it down. We breathe, we stretch. Just get in tune with our bodies and then we're off to enjoy the rest of our days. So this is really important that you stay for the cool down and you stay for the stretching. Even if you take those slightly easier options and you feel like maybe you didn't work that hard, you still need to do the cool down and stretch, preventing any injuries, helping your body recover quicker 
and even just kind of getting your mindset switched from workout to the rest of your day so it's that little bridge in between so we're going to bring it down onto our mat so we'll get a nice little lie down here so coming down good all right we're going to have a leg bend big leg and that goes up in the air so we press that heel up to the ceiling drop the toes down towards us and bring that leg in stretching out you're going to feel the hamstrings Good. We're going to drop that ankle onto the opposite knee and clear that top knee off. And then give yourself a little stretch in. So we're Bringing that leg in towards you. So just enjoy the stretch, holding it for a little while each side. Good. Bringing both knees together, give them a little hug into the chest. So bringing the knees in, roll that lower back onto the mat. So just relaxing, relaxing that core, giving those hips a nice stretch, getting into the glutes. Really nice, and then roll yourself up. We have got a nice and easy peasy, bring it up onto our feet, so nice and slow. Just rolling yourself up, don't come up too quickly, don't come jumping up. Bringing it up, give it a little shake out, and then bring one arm over. So drop the shoulder, arm comes over again, not holding the elbow, holding it above or below. Good, other side. Excellent, so we're getting a nice shoulder stretch. Bring me one hand out, press into that palm with the other hand. So we're just getting the forearm into the bicep. Just releasing that forearm, other side. So bring one hand out straight in front of you and then press down. Just a nice gentle pressure. Dancing is optional. Excellent. Bring it up. Nice full body stretch. And bring it down. Nice and slow. Easing it all down. Good. Bring it back to center. Thank you so much. Give yourself a clap. Make sure you always celebrate yourself at the end of your workout. Give yourself a clap. Give yourself a little cheer. Pat on the back. Celebrate yourself, even if it was just a half an hour, you've done it. You moved your body, you worked out, you tried something new, fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got something out with that. You do not need to go into any other workout today. You've done body weight strength, conditioning, cardio, core. Take all those boxes, so don't have to go into anything else mad workout wise. If you want to, you're more than welcome to, but that is enough for you for one day. Uh, gentle stretching, perfect, going for a walk, swim, anything like that would be fine. But thank you so much, everybody. I will see you all again very soon, hopefully, or you will at least see me. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya. Bye.